we're late, much later than we ever wanted to be. And I want to start by owning that. There is no existing machine we could copy. Everything, the mechanics, the chemistry, the electronics, had to be developed from scratch for our specific use case. And building took time. We went through electronics that failed, covers and gears that had to be remade, and a lot of painful restarts. Every mistake pushed our schedule and cost us more than we expected. We also know the updates and the videos were missing. That's something we didn't handle well. We were deep in problem solving mode, but we should have shown you more. We didn't take shortcuts. We could have shipped something earlier, but it wouldn't have met the standard we promised or that you deserve. Right now, we are in the assembly process. Final parts are in, and we are building each machine by hand to make sure it works exactly as intended. Even though this is a Kickstarter, we have honored every refund request. We know this delay has affected real businesses and plans, and we have done our best to be fair. So yes, there will be another delay, but we are focused on making sure what you receive is solid, tested, and ready to support your work from day one. As a thank you for your patience, we are including a custom wrench tool and a silicone nozzle cap with every device. These will ship with every unit. Now, I will show you how we build this model for our customer using Flow. This customer part is exactly what Flow system was designed to do. The parts you're about to see were created entirely using our injection system. We originally tried SLA printing, but due to the thin edge features in our designs, parts tended to warp during curing. So instead, we printed our master models with FDM. Each model is then carefully sanded, coated, sanded again, and base coated once more until the surface is smooth and ready for molding. With the masters complete, we move into silicone casting. Since the parts are small, we use Lego blocks to build custom mold boxes. It's a simple and effective way to contain the silicone without wasting material. We embed the master into silicone using a cut mold approach, burying the part entirely and later slicing the mold open to retrieve it. Once the silicone cures, we cut the mold open, retrieve the master, and begin injecting polyurethane with the flow system. Because each model contains many different parts, we created multiple molds to match the variety. Manufacturing one complete model takes about three full injection runs across these molds. Once cured, the parts are demolded and given a quick sanding to remove parting lines or small imperfections. Then we apply a base coat to prepare the surface for painting, improving both finish and consistency. With the paint applied and cured, we move to final assembly, fitting each piece together to complete the full scale model. We produce 10 sets of these scale models for our customer, each built entirely using the flow system. These models are used to present actual systems to clients, which makes accuracy, surface quality, and consistency critically important. Every detail had to be precise, and flow made that possible. Again, we want to thank our Kickstarter backers for your patience. We want to get this right. Your continued support really motivates our growing team, and it really means a lot to us. We're really excited for you to get your devices, and if you have any applications you'd like to see us use Flow for, let us know in the comments.